It was a crazy day. Um, didn't know if I was going to be playing or not. I got in um, the night before and was lucky enough to have a pregame skate with the guys and get a little comfortable with them. And to, uh, playing game five like that was an incredible uh, first pro game. And uh, too bad I couldn't get the win. But going into overtime, everything was pretty pretty surreal. It was pretty close, though, because the, at the end of the, the game, you were starting to get a few more shifts, and I don't know if that was by design or not, but you started playing a little bit more towards the end of the game and into overtime, and you had that great pass to Mike Angelitis, who was just a couple inches away from sneaking that over Grosnick's glove and uh, in late in that third period. Yeah, it was great. Um, it was nice to obviously get my feet under me a little bit and be able to play. Uh, I think it started, the nerves were there, and um, I was bobbling the puck a bit, but I think Husk uh, put me out there a little more, and I was comfortable, and it was nice to play with a couple older older guys like that. What did you notice uh, in terms of the biggest difference uh, between the junior game and the pro game? Uh, not many mistakes out there. Um, they know their jobs, and they do it very well, so that's the biggest thing is not looping around, and um, everybody knows where you are in the ice, so that's the biggest thing is to, to play the right way. So going into this off season now, you know you're going to be back in Kelowna uh, playing, but do you kind of think that, hey, if, if there is an opportunity, I want to find myself right back here on an, uh, at the end of the year on an ATO potentially back here in Stockton? Yeah, I, I guess it'd be it'd be nice to be up here, but uh, a long run with Kelowna would obviously be the goal, but uh, any chance you can come up here and um, have a chance to play pro hockey is the goal, so it would be nice to be here longer and have a chance to play a couple of games, but uh, I wouldn't be complaining if we had a long run in Kelowna and wasn't able to. The uh, the I know you were only here for a day, but was there anything maybe you took from from a couple guys in terms of their preparation, especially for a, for a big game like that? Yeah, just how they handle themselves. Uh, you know, I've been in a couple of those game sevens and big games, but just the way they they obviously act, they're pretty professional, and um, it, it felt like a big game, and it was pretty cool just to be a part of. Uh, now you you have a little bit of time now to, to break and rest for uh, for the summer before you have to get back into training and I know the junior season starts a little bit sooner than the the American Hockey League does but you have any fun plans uh, away from hockey where you can take a little bit of a breather? I I don't know I think I might stop in Kelowna for a little bit I think that's probably one of the best places to be in the summer so uh, probably head back for a little bit but I think most uh, most of the summer is gonna be business for me and looking for a, a good year next year.